ارجع يا ابا خليك جوا يا ابا لا تخافي Farah movie. This film tells the story of a girl named Farha who sees the tragedy of the massacre from a hole in the wall. This story is based on a true story from a Palestinian woman named Radia, and this event occurred in 1948, located in the territory of the state of Palestine. A girl named Farha, who is 14 years old, is studying the Quran with her friends. At that time, the teacher said that he would send his students home early because they were going to formalize the marriage contract, and he hoped to immediately formalize his sonry marriage. But Farha hopes that her village will have a school so that girls can go to school like boys. After studying the Quran, Farha was visited by her cousin from the city named Farida, who wanted to go on vacation to their village. There, Farha said to Farida that she really wanted to go to school in the city because with school she could have a bag, books, and pencils, and could go to school together by car. But when they were busy chatting, suddenly several British soldiers passed there. Farha and Farida tried to drive them away. After playing with Farida, Farha made tea for her uncle. Their Farha's father told his uncle that it was time for Farha to get married. But Farha instead asks about school registration because she wants to continue school first and delays marriage. In the morning, when Farha was reading a book, she overheard a conversation between her father and her Quran teacher, where Farha's father asked his teacher's advice that he wanted to take Farha to the city to continue school. However, her teacher told Farha to stay at home as the current situation was not safe. Then the teacher asked what Farha wanted to study in the city. Overhearing their conversation, Farha rushes outside and tells her teacher that she wants to study geography, history, math, and English. After that, Farha and Farida attended an event. After the event was over, Farha and Farida, who were about to go home, saw their father talking to his uncle. At first, Farha thought that she would get married, but in fact, Farha's father gave Farha a piece of school registration paper. Farha was very happy and praised his father for being able to continue his studies in the city. It wasn't long before several Palestinian fighters visited his home. While preparing drinks for his father's guests, Farha also imagined how happy it would be to be able to go to school in the city. After giving drinks to his father's guests, their Farha heard their conversation where the warriors wanted to immediately attack the enemy soldiers. But Farha's father wants to be patient, waiting for help from Arab countries. The next day, Farha meets Farida again. There, Farha tells Farida that her father allowed her to go to town to further her education, and she already has her registration papers. But in the middle of their preoccupation, suddenly a bomb exploded. All the residents ran scatteringly. Farha ran to look for her father, and after meeting her father, her father told Farha to save herself by joining her uncle's car, heading north out of the village. But when Farha was in the car, she suddenly asked her uncle to stop the car because he couldn't bear to see his father there, and he decided to get out of the car and go back to his father. <laughs> Then Farha's father took him to a warehouse and asked Farha to stay in that room and gave him a knife to protect himself. And his father promised to come back to pick him up. And after that, Farha's father left. Inside the room, there is a hole in the wall that he uses to see the activity outside, as well as a small oil lamp as a light in the room. Farha also eats simply, uses rainwater as drinking water, and defecates in her room. Because the oil for the lamp had run out, Farha made a lamp by collecting straw to burn. After several days of staying inside that storage room, Farha started to feel weak, and she tried to break down the door so she could get out of the place. But her efforts were in vain, and she couldn't get out, and she had to stay in the barn. After several days of staying inside that storage room, Farha suddenly sees a family taking shelter in her house, where a pregnant woman is about to give birth. After the woman gave birth, they entered the house with the other children. Then Farha called the man to help him get out of that place. The man's name was Sela. 
After hearing Farha's call, Sela tried to approach Suwara. Farha said that his father had left him alone in the room and never came back because he was very worried about his father and asked the man for help to get out of the room. Then piously tries to help Farha. But before they could open the door, a warning sounded for all residents to get out and leave their homes. Otherwise, they will be killed. Then piously tries to help Farha. But before they could open the door, a warning sounded for all residents to get out and leave their homes. Otherwise, they will be killed. Sela left the house. But suddenly, when it reaches the front page, he was stopped by a group of soldiers. Then Sela was brought in by the soldiers, and the soldiers started to search him. It didn't take long for them to find the godly wife and her two daughters and newborn baby. Then Sela and his family were taken to the wall and finally executed. Farha, who witnessed it, cried because she could not bear to see it. After killing the godly man and his family, the soldiers leave. Feeling that no one was outside, Farha tried to open the door with the available equipment. Farha tried to open the door, but the door could not be opened. Finally, he found a gun in a pile of sacks. Then Farha tried to open the door by shooting a gun at the door, and finally the door opened. After Farha went looking for drinking water because she was very thirsty, Farha drank water many times. There she saw the baby of the family had died, so she went to take a bath to clean herself. Finished cleaning herself, Farha went to sit on the swing alone while eating the remaining fruit. He then sees a note that reminds him of his best friend Farida. And finally, Farha left her village for Syria, and he believed his father had been killed in the Al-Nakba incident. And the film ends with a very moving scene. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. And don't forget the comments. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Felix, and see you again in the next video.